I think you're correct when you say that uh, it, um, it's declining after 2005. The reason for this uh, are various, but if you want to blame uh, parties, we have to blame conservatives of Europe and conservatives and nations of Turkey, that these parties didn't want to see Turkey in the European Union, especially uh, in France and Germany, conservatives, and in Turkey, secularist conservatives and some Islamists did not want to see Turkey join Europe, and, and they block, tried to block it and successfully block it. The situation is not as sunny as it was in 2005. In fact, at that time, there some optimistic Turkish newspapers predict that Turkey will be joining in Europe in 10 years, nothing of the sort happened. In fact, there, there was no development and the idea faded away a bit. I'm sad about it, but I'm not going to cry about it either. I, in the end, I'm a novelist. I continue writing my novels. Good. Turkish book industry is booming. No one, uh, you would not be intimidated by free speech problems if you write a novel. Don't forget that Dostoevsky wrote, or Tolstoy wrote their novels when Char was reading and censoring. You won't, most of the time, you won't get in trouble for writing a novel. But political commentary, journalistic writing, outspoken Kurds, radicals, they, they are always in trouble. Um, but um, what uh, free speech is, uh, uh, novels will not put you in trouble of free speech, but yes, political commentary, uh, criticizing radically army, uh, uh, um, uh, criticizing religion, so many things will, put, will still put you in trouble in Turkey. Sometimes legal problems, sometimes media campaigns, death threats kind of problems.